In related news, the Israeli government continues to take steps to rescue Israelis from the economic crisis caused by the coronavirus. The recently passed grant program for each citizen still being underway. But what about independent businesses that have not yet received any assistance from the government? Here to discuss is ILTV contributor and consumer behavior expert, Dr. Billy Abraham. Billy, thank you so much. It's awesome to have you back. Thank you. It's a pleasure. All right. Now, you know, what is the amount of, of grant that each citizen is getting so far? All right. So until now, every citizen, uh, adults, re received 750 shekels. If we're talking about children, 500 shekels. The senior citizens, uh, ranging from 750 to uh, 1,500 shekels, depending on their situation. Those who are in greater need receive more money. Uh, and of course, uh, business people, self-employed, all of them got uh, unemployment benefits or some kind of financial stimulus. And this will be in effect till June 2021. Oh, wow. So people are going to ideally keep getting grants. Yes. Okay, so, so that might sustain a little bit more than we originally thought. Yeah. But there are about 800,000 Israelis, as I understand it, who have not yet received any grants. You know, what's the reason for that delay? And, and as I think you mentioned, that the deadline is next July to receive it or next June? Um, well, if we're talking about private citizens, there are about 800,000 Israelis who haven't received the 750 shekels that the government has been given everyone. And the reason is that they haven't updated their bank account information, which can be easily done through the website of the National Institute of uh, Insurance, Bituach uh, Lumi. So that's all they have to do. And more than half of those 800,000 are between 18 and 21, really young guys either or just uh, about to uh, be mobilized to the army. Or Who just arguably just need that money, though. Need that money Still. very desperately, <laughs> yes, right. they really need it, yeah. So the, youth, the youth may be not playing so much of a factor, they still... Still yeah. in economic dire straits. And by the way, there are about 54,000 individuals who have not received any benefits because they haven't submitted their income report for 2018. And in essence, most of these people who are, who are people who are supported by the National Institute of Insurance. So now the National Institute of Insurance has turned to the financial ministry uh, and passed their names in order to help them also get money. So it's, it's kind of... Uh, kind of bypass people with debt. So. Yes, because these people have debt anyway, and they, they don't pay income tax anyway. So um, there's no reason why they shouldn't be getting their monies. All right, now I understand that the Labor, the labor and Social Affairs Minister, Itzik Shmuli, has announced today that freelancers who specialize in productions uh, and cultural events will start to receive grants. Can you tell us about that? Yes, I think that's fantastic news. Uh, they haven't received anything until right. now. They were really, really damaged by the, the, by the restrictions by coronavirus. You can't have entertainment, uh, you know, shows indoors, but only outdoors, and it limits the number of people who can uh, attend. And what is going to happen is this. They have to prove that over the last uh, 18 months, they had income for six months. If they can prove that, they will be getting full unemployment benefits. So they just have to prove that the day prior to the restriction, that the coronavirus right. restrictions, they, they had some income for six months. All right, well, that is excellent news. Billy, thank you so much for sharing it. It was a pleasure.